they threw up a bunch of old arguments about like not wanting to see traffic and loitering coded language to anybody familiar with historical marijuana laws Tristan Gilbert is a city council watcher. He's been watching uh, the Madison City Council for a while now, and uh, and so yeah, what you know, since he's doing that already, figured why don't we uh, bring him on the show to talk about it? So the last one on your list was uh, this medical marijuana stuff. Yeah, my uh, my notes fell a bit short that month. It was just hard for me to connect and connect the entire uh, catch the entire stream. Um, but there was a there was a proposal that would have an ordinance that would have allowed medical marijuana dispensaries to be set up in Madison. Um, and uh, after a lot of back and forth uh, public hearings and arguments amongst the council, uh, it was, uh, it was shot down. Uh, I don't remember if that was actually in another working session or if it was at a point where my stream cut off. Um, but uh, unfortunately, like, you know, I'm not really that surprised about it. Uh, we're here in a, pretty uh conservative white alabama town um they threw up a bunch of old arguments about like not wanting to see traffic and loitering coded language to anybody familiar with historical <laughs> marijuana laws um right but what was surprising is that the there were a lot of public commenters that appeared to talk about that and it was a pretty even split it wasn't overwhelmingly <laughs> against um unfortunately uh, to me the uh some of the council members took the opinion of the police chief particularly heavily, and his opinion mm -hmm. was that they should wait and see how it plays out in surrounding areas. I'm not really aware which counties and towns uh, have supported such uh, legalization like this. Huntsville has, right? Yeah, Huntsville did uh, yeah. pass an ordinance to that effect, as did Athens, Of mm. interestingly enough. And it's also interesting that it's also interesting that Madison, of all places, voted again because it's not, you know, it's it's a medical marijuana dispensary that we're talking about here. It's not we're not talking about recreational stuff. And uh, it's interesting because uh, Mike Ball, who's a representative in the state house from Madison, he was one of the people spearheading the legalization of medical marijuana in Alabama. Oh, absolutely. Uh, and, yeah. and as much as I disagree with Mr. Ball on, on most everything, um, I have always given him a lot of credit for his work on medical marijuana reform, and, and mm -hmm. I don't know that we would be where we're at today without some of yep. his efforts. So, Absolutely. yeah, I, I, that's a good point, Jacob. I mean, this is his some of his home turf. Yeah. Uh, so I, I, so that it's interesting to me, yeah, that that there's, you know, these these different representatives from the same area taking totally opposite stances on a very obvious issue. So. Yeah, uh, I suspect that's something we're going to see again. Um, I'll give it two years before this kind of legislation rolls around again, um, because I I do think that the police chief is going to be wrong about that. Watching other areas, uh, right? Yeah, well, obviously. suffer some sort of consequence. Right. Yeah. 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 <laughs> All right. Well, Tristan, I think this was great. Uh, I appreciate it. Was there anything else that you wanted to make sure that we uh, 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 that we talked about before we let you go? Uh, no, I just say if you, if you have a listener that lives in Madison that wants to go and be another voice on these uh, in these council meetings, um, they uh, they they have a you got three minutes to tell them what you want, uh, and uh, they could use the uh, it'd be nice to have more people engaged uh, to quote the mayor. <laughs> <laughs> Tristan well, Gilbert in February. Yep. See you in February. Appreciate it. Tristan Gilbert, Madison City Council Watcher. Uh, we're going to be talking to him every month towards the end of the month about this. So we appreciate that. You just saw a clip from the Valley Labor Report. We are live every Saturday morning from 930 a.m. till 1230 p.m. And we pride ourselves on keeping all of our content free to everybody so that we can talk to as many working folks as possible. If you support the work that we're doing, you think that it's important, you think that it's good, then consider making a monthly contribution to the project, and you can do that on our website, tvlr.fm.